We are in trouble now, aren't we? <laughs> I, I like his sort of accent. It's a very London-y thing, isn't it? It's like the thing where he really... Oh my... Fuck. Jesus. I got scared there. The slime's still fresh. That means there's a child out of bed. A, no, a student out of bed. Right? So, yeah, uh, this is probably the part that uh, Crystal Fisher would have been looking forward to the most, almost. Why is that? I don't know. Like, he was really looking forward to the sort of forbidden library part. Because we are, like, you know, technically, like, we're invisible now. But if you get too close, he can see you. Or if you make a load of oh, noise. Okay, right. But this is like almost a checkpoint, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it doesn't really matter so um, you... how loud you are. Well, I mean, it matters in the area itself, but this is like sort of your breathing room in between. Because as a kid, I remember this being quite, you know, s creepy. Quite scary, like oh my god, fucking. Yes, fluid. stuff, stuff where you have to hide from people uh, like that is always a bit intense. In so yeah, games. like every time you, I see like, and then you do that, and he like That's notices it, and that. he's like, someone's got past me. He goes there straight away, and he's like on to you, sort of, but like, and, yeah. But then once you sort of get to like home base, you know, you get to the checkpoint pretty much, then you're like, oh. Thank God. But then it starts off pretty easy here, right? Like, I just... Yeah. See, and now he runs straight for it again as soon as the door opens as well. So you can't just be like, oh, I'm opening the door and I'm running for it. But... <clears throat> so... But in the later... In later parts... This is just purely from memory as like a kid playing this game. Like... Uh, yeah, now if you're on the bookcases, you're pretty much uh, completely uh, untouchable. But in later bits, there's Miss Norris, or is it Mrs. Norris? Oh, the cat, Mrs. Mrs. Norris. Yeah, yeah, his cat jumps onto the bookcases as well, so she's like chasing you as well later whilst you're on top of the bookcases. Oh dear. So, by the way, the weird thing is, like, we're supposed to be getting to a book here, I guess, right? Like on. This guy, uh, like, Nicholas Flamel, I think yeah. his name is. Oh my! F come out, come out, wherever you are, wherever you are. Um, but the thing is, I think the end of this level is you actually setting free Norbert the dragon. Uh, to that, fly. That happens in, in in this game, really, in this movie. Yeah, because like. In the part before the... Well, it's not the part before this... Pro uh oh. Oh my god! Jesus! Oh my god! Jesus. That was a close one. Someone's got past me. See, that's what I mean about, like, you can't just open a door and then go straight for it, because, like, as soon as you do something, you'll actually go there. Um, but, um... Now, how can I get oh, and as soon as you cast a spell as well, yeah, you become visible again. That's what that sound is like. Right <laughs> Like, ah, okay. See, now I'm visible. Yeah. Now turn back to visible. Because well, uh, he has to lift up his, his uh, invisibility cloak. Yeah, which was like retarded as well in the film, where it was like holding this huge lantern outside of outside, the... Outside, yeah, yeah, I know. I guess he was afraid his cloak was going to catch on fire or something like that. Yeah, but basically you're now just a floating lantern in the fucking library, which is like way more visible than you as a person would have been anyway. I remember that there was a scene in the library, a bit in the library, where he opens up a book that has a face that comes out of it. Yeah. That's really like, That weird, terrified me, that face. That's such a jump scare. As you, you don't expect that in this mm. kind of thing. I don't know. Is it a jump scare? Yeah, I guess so. Because it sort of, sort of comes up a bit, you know? It goes like... You know? Like, it doesn't just go... <laughs> bump. Yeah, you're, you're right, I guess. Ooh. Hey, this is kind uh, of on topic. Have you seen? Have you oh seen the new? Oh my fuck! He uh, found me. What? Oh jeez. Did he find me? Uh, did he? No, he didn't. Yeah. Oh, he did. Hey, have you seen Fantastic Beasts? Holy and, fuck! Uh, they actually used the Harry Potter two quote, which is weird. Hmm. We are in trouble now, aren't we? <laughs> um. It's like right at the start of the movie. You remember, like after they did the car thing. Jeez, tits. 
Oh yes, 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 yes. Um, Johnny, have you seen yeah. the new Harry Potter film? No, Harry I haven't Potter seen film. Fantastical Beasts or something. Is that what it's, it's okay? It's, it's not that good, to be honest. I didn't. I wasn't a huge fan. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I don't like. I don't. I think. I think the thing that really draws Harry Potter to me is the the way that the stories are told, like over the course of tw like a twelve month period or something or whatever. Like so, you know, it's all spaced out. You have got plenty of breathing time, and, and it's showing you like a sort of best of compilation of the year of, of Harry Potter's life, mostly. Sort of an autist's dream, isn't it? All nice it and is. quantized. <laughs> it is. I wish. I wish I could make my life feel like no, that. How can I get but Fantastic it? Beasts and, and where to find them is weird because it takes place over like a three day period and and like some all these characters go through profound character changes like over three days. Um, which is weird. The The main character himself is like an autistic person. Huh. Which I wasn't a huge fan of. Like, he doesn't make eye Wait, contact. Wait, literally, with like, it's sort of acknowledged in the film that he's autistic, or? I, th I think he was because he doesn't he doesn't relate to people well, but he, like, relates really well to animals, like these, these fantasy monsters. Oh, he's monsters. a furry. No, not, not just furry things, but, like, this whale rhinoceros thing and, like, other stuff. It's a new form of furry. <laughs> but it's just weird, though, because, <sighs> like, the movie... Sorry. The, pl the plot, there is no real plot to it, as far as I could tell. The only, I mean, I guess there was where he had to collect all the, all the monsters. Were but there, there a lot of just special on. effects? Yeah, there's a lot of special effects. By the way, a, if you want to see Fantastical Beasts, go watch BBC's Walking with Dinosaurs from fucking 1999. It's pretty much better than anything they do these days. I love that, by the way, that Walking with Dinosaurs, that was come great. Out, come out, yeah, it's like, it's still, and that's like the sad thing, it's still better CGI than anything they do th nowadays for dinosaur, like, documentary type stuff. Well, that had a massive budget, though. Yeah, but it's 1999, you know. Soon that'll be 20 years ago. Yeah, it's like... <sighs> There's just no, I guess, well, in the 90s, yeah, people just, they took leaps, I suppose. Like, they didn't, like, care so much about, like, having the guarantee of it having sort of a Hollywood appeal. Yeah. Uh, they were sort of more willing to just take a chance on something cool. But that times was, were good in the 90s. The economic times were good. People seemed to be up for anything. Yeah. I mean, at the same time, there was the whole heroin depressing, depression thing. But I feel like there was just shitty people anyway who were, who were really like you know Kurt fucking what's his name Cobain yeah Kurt Cobain you know there were there were a few suicides here and there in the 90s uh, yeah Diana's death as well track record with people well who the fuck is a shit about that that was just a a lot of people did you and I, not so much, but a lot of people I mean, it, shit. it's not enough to make you depressed about the world, though, is it? Oh, well, maybe, I, well, yeah, maybe if you think she was killed by some conspiracy or whatever, then... And who could forget 9-11? Remember the when that happened in the Yeah, 90s? but that's not Big the deal. 90s. I know, I know. You know, you know, someone, like, forgot when 9-11 happened. Like, they didn't know what, what day was and what year it happened. That is pretty retarded. Someone I work with, I should say. Someone I know in real life. Said, like, when, when was 9 11 again? That is actually quite just ridiculous. I mean, unless you're four, year, four years old, yeah, you're really meant to know that. Another another thing that, that I found funny was that the same person who, who said that, you know, you know, when Donald Trump was having all his like speeches, he'd have his placard at his, um, at his podium that would say Trump, then Pence, right? They said, what, okay. I guess, why does it say Trump Pence? Is, is his last name Pence? Jesus, his first name is, his first name is Wait, is this Trump, the same person? The same person, yes. Oh, uh, okay. So they're just quite, uh... They're quite thick. Yeah. Are they fat as well? No, they're pregnant, though. No, oh, so, I feel oh, bad so for they the are kid. thick, then. Yeah. Oh, I had that, that with... Kid's grow up oh, this is the thing, right? You know that my dad got, like, a another kid? Yeah. Wait, re yeah, his wife was pregnant, right? No, he doesn't have a wife, like, his, uh... His, his mistress. Yeah, his... <laughs> mistress. 
is Russian fucking bride, pretty much. So, so you have a little brother? That's well, I never acknowledged it as such. Like, I, I never took any interest in the matter whatsoever, um, because you know this is whatever the fuck he's getting up to, and I, you know, I frankly don't approve of it at all. Like, in his situation, like not just his age, but his situation, like. He's pretty much, he's a 50-something-year-old guy who is at least 85% of the time in China or sometimes Russia and, you know, just working. And, I mean, if he's home, he's also working on his laptop or whatever. Yeah. And, um, and he's, and he drinks a bottle of fucking whiskey every day or something, you know, a bottle of scotch or whatever. Yeah. So, you know, his mind isn't whatever it uh, should be or, or something. I mean, I've certainly had some discussions slash fights with him in the past uh, where he uh, came off to me as as uh, just uh, someone who could fly off the handle in a psychotic way almost. Uh, what's, that, what's that Tim and Eric thing? Where yeah, he's, you know, he's the, punched me in the face as well on those occasions. What? Yeah. This is this is getting a bit dark for a Harry Potter let's play. Well, I told you Harry Potter one was more dark than Harry Potter two. Uh, didn't I? Anyway, go on, go on. So you got a little a little brother. So yeah, yeah. So oh, what the fuck was that? Come on, he should have grabbed onto the ledge there. Um, so right, yeah. It's now like apparently like he's like, you know, a year and somewhat some something old now. The guy. Yeah. Um, and, uh, but the thing is, right, I got hit by a car, and, um, once I got, went back to Hilversum, I had to pick up my bicycle at the place that it was stashed, because I got picked up by an ambulance. <laughs> Fuck off. What? Yeah, yeah, go on. So, I got, yeah, uh, so the, um, my dad had to help me with that, because, you know, my arm was still fucked, so he sort of came over to, why well, he had to come over to sort of, uh, bring me some of my stuff as well because my mom didn't want to actually bring me home. Uh, like I had to go mm-hmm. with the public transport. Uh, so I couldn't take all of my stuff. Like I couldn't take all of my suitcases at, at that time. So my dad had to like drop them off and help me get the yeah. bicycle back. So that's when and he brought his girlfriend and and uh and his new son and everything so and because you you mean your brother right your brother yeah i suppose my half brother then yeah go on, uh, go on and um because they had been like somewhere else in the country like they'd been like visiting some other place whatever so yeah and it was like ah oh, I really quite, I was like quite, you know, taken with the little tyke, I had to say. Yeah? Yeah, like I was really, he's a fucking awesome little kid, I have to say. Now, like now are you going to make it, you need to make an impact in his life, Johnny, you need to be there for him. Well, that's the thing, like, can I fucking use that kind of stress in my life at the moment, you know? Like, because I don't want to feel, that's the thing, like, because I always sort of felt that it was sort of not really a good idea on my dad's part to sort of have a kid at, at that point in his life or whatever. Um, and and the fact that I didn't want to feel any responsibility over that is one of yes. the reasons that I sort of, you know, kept my distance from the whole thing. Um, so that's the thing, like, I don't want to, like, like if I... Oh, my God, he's fucking after me! Oh! Oh, you're fucked now. He's, we're gonna rape you in the corner. Oh, no. no that's, uh, that wall prevented it. Someone's nice. past me. I'm gonna pass me. Um. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, shut up, you tart. He does kind of sound like that as well. He has that accent, you know? Hmm. I don't know if you s- still can hear that, by the way. This, oh, no, you must do. Uh, you must be able to. I can hear it. I can hear it. <sighs> yeah, the. The soundboard, it's not quite finished. Shit, now I have to wait again. So what was I saying again? So yeah, like... I, I didn't want to feel yeah, any so responsibility. Like, I can't sort of be like... 
oh, you know, I need to make an impact in his life because then it, I like have like I feel too much responsibility for him. And yeah, then well, it's like, you know, if and like once I f if I like feel any re responsibility for that kid's upbringing, it's so much. This it's way too much trouble to actually try to save him from a bad Do you upbringing. Think I'm blind. I'm not letting anyone. Do you think I'm blind? Because. <laughs> If you were in my arms tonight. Um, <laughs> what's, 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 it, what's your brother's name? It's Ivan, which is like, or That's Ivan. That's a girl's name. Oh, or Ivan. It's, which is like kind of a Russian name, but it's also used in Dutch, so I guess, yeah. That I guess it works. Yeah, it's appropriate. Have to distract Filch along the way. Um, is that actually Daniel Radcliffe, by the way, who does his voice? I, I was meant, no. meaning to ask this. It sounds pretty close. Does it? Actually, so. I'm not sure, by the way. I actually don't remember what Daniel Radcliffe sounded like at this point. Um, but I remember in the Dutch version of Harry Potter 2. Okay, so you can use that to distract him. That's a terrible up. Filch impression. That's just the worst. Oh my, we are in trouble now, aren't we? I just have to keep doing that one line. That's the one line I remember from him. Potter. Oh. Wow, Arranged look at those silhouettes. From the tower. But it's look at this. This is like completely unrelated. Yeah, what the hell? This doesn't happen in any adaptation. Like it's like we're supposed to be in the library to find this book on, on that dude who did the fucking uh, Philosopher's Stone. Stone. And, um, we just end up fucking, again, it's the moon and star thing. Fucking Turkish stuff, like, all all over this game, uh, series. But, like, um, oh, no, he's, just, oh, no, now fucking Mrs. Norris gets introduced. Mrs. Norris, I could have sworn I heard footsteps in here, but, yeah, blah. Let's check. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remember the fucking gnomes. What's that thing from uh, from Toast You thought they said uh, like uh, "feck off, feck off." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Toast of London, where the guys like low grumble. Oh shit! By the way, I had that in my soundboard as well. I had the whiskey thing. What what thing? The whiskey. <laughs> uh, but that's from Snuffbox, though. Actually, yeah. That is from Starbucks, yeah. From from yeah. the boyfriend sketches, right? Where yeah, like yeah. I had that on my uh, uh, on my uh, soundboard earlier as well, but yeah, I didn't have that sample here. So you should just make a Matt now. Berry soundboard. Yeah, I had some Matt Berry stuff in there as well before my hard drive fucked up. But uh, I'll, I'll like, you know, I'll reinstall all the samples and everything I'll, I'll, I'll make a proper soundboard the thing is like with the soundboard i think it'll develop over time anyway as i do parts like as i think of stuff to sort of put in it because a lot of the times during an actual let's play i'll be like oh fuck, i wish i had this sound to play now or like this reference <laughs> to sort of make and then i can sort of note that down and be like yeah i can use that next time so now mrs norris is like jumping on the bookcases Ooh, how do you how do you avoid Mrs. Norris? Oh, I hope she's not coming up here. Fuck, she is.